be able to choose for Jesus Christ. Look, He can save you, He can change you. Just like He says in the Bible. Just like He says, go test it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. That's your challenge. If you want to know, go look for God, and He will reveal the truth for you. Hey, brother, it's all good. Um, we're downtown right now. We already did the parade. Now we're by like a festival. There's people everywhere. Um, if you can't make it, it's not a big deal at all. But just, um, you know, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you at the Kanye West concert, man. Come to the Kanye West concert. But folks, that day is coming for all of us. Our football slipping time, and we will have to face our Creator. And we're gonna do an account for every deed done in the body. Every single deed. It's gonna to happen to all of us. Thank you. So now is your chance. Today is the day it's of salvation. Waldo. The Bible tells you, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. It's Waldo. Get enough of the truth. Don't go to the Bible looking for reasons not to believe. You'll find talking donkeys. Right? If you go to the Bible and you're looking for reasons, you're gonna see like everything out here today. It's like that okay stereogram. All you see is little pictures of pixels. I haven't really seen a lot of Disney eyes, characters, You see though. the picture. You don't want to see the picture. That's why you're not seeing the picture. Want to see the picture and then go do it. Yeah, the picture, right? yes. So what, what happened to America? What happened to America? It used to be like a, like a beacon in the world. Look at it now. It's, it's you are a homosexual transgender. They can't tell the difference between a lump of cells and a living person and a mother's womb. They can't even tell the difference between a man and a woman. They, they claim science, science, but they don't know the difference between the reproductive and, and the um, digestive system. Right? It's a strong delusion. Because this, this is what the Bible tells you. Because they did not have a love for the truth. God will send them a strong delusion. There's a strong delusion dropping on this country. If there are some of you that still have eyes to see, open your eyes and see what is happening. See what is happening. See what is happening to this country. Because God will call out to you and then He will give up on you. And then He will leave you to the consequences of your sin. And every nation that will get God will be turned into hell. That's what's going to happen to this country. That's what's going to happen to this country. So you have right now? Want to preach? God hates pride. He hates it with a passion. Just like that, that guy earlier was trying to tell me that God created like everything. You know, God allows it to be. Doesn't mean he created it. Oh, the evil. Uh, yeah. Well, like, like, well, like, no, like, like, uh, like pride and, yeah, yeah. and all God, that homosexuality. That like, um, pride. That's the whole thing about God like, for true hates love to, to exist, pride. you have to have an option. That's right, exactly. That's right. God for true good to exist, there must be like pride. good to the bad. That's you know? exactly so, The Bible right. says all It's not like the Calvinists believe God made these like robots that can't do anything else but sin. God gave the Father. You know? And we corrupt ourselves. Amen. That sin comes from us. That's Amen. why God is going to get rid of us. Yep. Out of the lust of our hearts. Yeah. Jesus Christ was manifested to destroy the works of the devil in your life, sir. Amen. Jesus Christ was manifested to destroy the works of homosexuality. Jesus Christ was manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of fornication. Jesus Christ was manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of Evil. Jesus Christ was manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of the devil in your life. Jesus Christ was manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of darkness. See? Jesus Christ was manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of the devil in your life. Only if you tell me if you keep his commandments will I do that. If you don't keep his commandments, 
Đây là Repent ye and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. <laughs> her face was hilarious. I don't know, but Jesus her facial expression you, was classic. Are you guys actually serious? Sorry? What are you talking about? Is, 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 is the salvation of someone's soul is a real thing? Ye adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know Ma'am, seriously, ma'am? Are you a ma'am or a sir? God. That means... Wow. Are you for real? So, are you for if real? you are a friend of the world, it makes you an uh. enemy of God. So if you practice sin, you're a friend of the world, and it makes you the enemy of God. You don't have to be an enemy of God. I think so. You can repent of your sins. Oh, oh sure. And turn to Jesus yeah. Christ. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible doesn't say that sin. The Bible doesn't say that sin. Well, actually, it says judge righteous judgment. That's not what it says in the Bible, ma'am. Put some clothes on, please. Put some clothes on, please. Put some clothes on. The Bible says to judge righteous judgment. It says the spiritual. The Bible, the Word of God says. The Word of God says the spiritual judgeth all things. Yep, you too. Put some clothes on, young lady. Put some clothes on. Put some clothes on. Put some clothes. There's little children out here. Seriously. There's little children out here. There's little children out here. There's little children out here. All right, Jezebel. All right, Jezebel. I don't tell people I hate people like they do. Yeah. Uh, even though I preach about sin and stuff, I don't. I don't do the same method as they do. So, yes, on. Yeah. Whoa. That's not what it says in the Bible, ma'am. That's not what it says in the Bible. That's not what it says in the Bible, ma'am. It says in the Bible that he hates all workers of iniquity. I don't understand. What do you? Oh, 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 come on, man. That's disgusting, dude. That's gay. That's gay. And they cheer. See, this is America for you. They cheer perversion. They cheer perversion. Jesus Christ says I love it. And, and this is this is this unfortunately is what America's come to. America says. Chanting little simple phrases. That's love. Okay. That's right. Little simple phrases that they seen on television. And guess what? Jesus Christ said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So Jesus Christ, those he loves, he rebukes. It's all this gayness is disgusting. Anyways, Jesus Christ said, Jesus Christ said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He never said that, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, man. Come on. He died for mankind's sin. So, so that we can have everlasting life when we repent of sin. All right, cool. I said it. All right, we do pray for them, okay, ma'am. Who, who says that? Who says that I don't pray? I'm they always send somebody to try to stop the preaching. Jesus Christ said, there we go. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Every creature. You don't know the Bible, ma'am. You're a lukewarm Christian, just like our society teaches. Our society teaches lukewarmness. A lukewarm no such thing as aliens. Who to know Jesus, but don't live holy. I love how he says holy. Titus chapter 2 says in verse 11 through 12 it says the grace of God which has appeared to all men has brought us salvation teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust that we should be soberly and righteously and godly in this present age. So, so you don't have God's grace until you repent of sin repent of your sin yeah, preach it, brother. and turn to Jesus Christ Amen. to live holy and righteous and sober through Jesus Christ. See, the wrath of God abides on 
from the sons of disobedience, the Bible says. And until you repent of your sins and live holy and righteous and sober through Jesus Christ, Yikes. the wrath of God remains on you according to Scripture. Until you repent of your sins oh my goodness. and live holy and righteous and sober. Hey, dude, I'm going to hell and I love it! Sober. Huh. Okay. Jesus said, Jesus said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And this is loving our neighbor. We come out here and love for our neighbor enough to tell them the truth. But unfortunately, we have a lot of scripture twisters out here. So-called lukewarm Christians who like to twist scripture, just like Satan. Satan was the original scripture twister. In the garden, he said to Eve, Yea, hath God said. Yea, hath God God said, and that's what Satan does today. That's what he does today with lukewarm Christians. He says, "Oh, God is love. God is love." Thank you for chanting, ma'am. Thank you for those scriptures. Thank you. Thank you. Keep mocking all you want. You're not going to mock Christ to His face on Judgment Day. We're not mocking anybody. We're actually out here preaching the gospel, young lady. Please be careful before you get hit, young lady. That guy almost ran you over. All right. I'm saying ready because they love distracting him. Pay the penalty not so that we can remain in sin, but so that we can live holy and righteous and love perfect in Jesus Christ. Holy. Did you know that you can be perfect? <laughs> you can be perfect as your heavenly Father Amen. is perfect in heaven. Amen. Jesus said, "Be ye perfect, for just as your Father in heaven is perfect." Colossians chapter one says. Warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom doing? that we may present every man says, perfect in Christ. Actually, it says judge righteous judgment, ma'am. It says don't judge don't hypocritically. Quick, taking scripture out of context. That means to be perfect in Christ Jesus is to live holy, righteous, and sober. To forsake your sins and live holy, righteous, and sober. Judge righteous judgment. I was actually going to make a sign for that, but that one took long enough as it was. Because we hear that every time. Take away our sins. As First John chapter 3 says, Whoever sins also commits lawlessness, for sin is lawlessness. That's creepy. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And you say that now, but you won't say that every day of judgment, sir. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen God nor known God. So if you continually sin, all the time you do not know God, nor have you ever known God. You have not seen God nor known God at any time until you repent of your sin and turn to Jesus Christ and live holy and righteous and sober. Holy. The Bible says that there will be mockers in the last day, just like this guy is. He's a mocker and a scoffer. Oh, come on. Lord, rebuke that. Lord, uh, come on. That's disgusting. I mean, where? Jesus Christ. There's little children out here, and she's dancing like a prostitute. She's dancing like a stripper, and there's little children out here. I mean, come on. Really? I mean, where is the decency at? So, so you're, you're, you're okay with a woman dancing like a uh, stripper in front of children? You're okay with that? I'm not okay with this. But you're okay with what she, she dancing what like a stripper in front of a child? <laughs> We're preaching the gospel. If you have nothing important to say, please move around. Please move around. If you have nothing important to say, please move around. If you actually if you actually encourage what she just did, that's disgusting, man. That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Jesus Christ and God hate. They hate evil and evil do not stand in the presence of God. Meatballs won't get you to heaven, young lady. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Don't you make a judgment before you walk across that street? Isn't that a judgment? Wow. Really? I don't judge 
judging. You probably should start judging yourself. Anyone can be. You judge yourself. Do you judge yourself? You're judging us right now. You're judging us. Yes, you are actually. You're judging us right now. We're actually we're just preaching the gospel. You're judging us though. Anyway, distractors will come. Jesus Christ said, "Make righteous judgment." That's yes, right. I'm making righteous I'm judgment. You are the Lord. You are the the word of God says to judge righteous judgment. It also says the spiritual judgeth all things. You need a Bible? Do you want a full one or a pocket one? Do you want a full Bible or a pocket Bible? Yeah. These are my street preaching ones, but I'll give you a choice, whichever one you want. You can have whichever one you want. Do you want that one? That's yours. God bless you. What's your name? Raymond Logan. Oh, yeah, hold that. <laughs> I have scoop in the van. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, my man right here, uh, me and my wife, the two children, uh, the children room in here. Yeah. So, uh, my man right here, they gave me two dollars to get us some. Yeah, I walked over and punched the deal, and we ain't got nothing. I'll give you, I'll give you some, bro, it's okay. We ain't got nothing. I walked over, see the children, I came over right here. They went to them, and I left the house. And we ain't to them, and I left the house. Okay. Okay. For Jesus Christ. He gave me two dollars right here. Jesus Christ was manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of the devil in your life and my life. I know before this began, Pastor. He came to destroy the works of the devil. If you repent of your sins, he forgives you. If you repent of your sins, if you have repented of your sins, he doesn't forgive you. Yes, he does. Not until you forgive. Not until you forgive. Only your sins will forgive you until you repent of your sins. And most unfortunately, most of us now are lukewarm. Holy and righteous and sober through Jesus Christ. The grace of God teaches us to deny ungodliness. We don't have God's grace until you the Lord. I would say that you need Jesus. I would say you need Jesus. Be better. Say you need Jesus. You need to be better than this. You do not need to spread the hate like this. You do not need to spread the hate like this, man. Because our blood is the blood does.
guys judging me, so I just him back and stuff. I get, I get that. I'm, uh, I'm what I just said. This guy just said I don't believe in God because earlier I told him I don't belong to a group. That doesn't mean I don't believe in God. Hey, fear you know, God, though. I can believe in God and not be a part of a religion. Really. It doesn't matter. Thank you. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. Let me tell you something. If I don't care what religion you are. My religion is good. Yeah, exactly. If it's just, everyone needs to be good. That's all I'm saying. Listen. I don't know how that doesn't work. Do you know what the do what? Yeah. What? I go, I have a goal. I don't know you. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to do that. What I'm saying, basically, like, I mean, you guys do what you want. I don't care. I'm going to do what I want. You guys keep believing what you believe. I'm not trying to stop you from believing. I'm just saying. This guy's trying to tell me what I am, and he doesn't know me at all. That's all I'm saying. This guy doesn't know me. I'm a good person. How am I not good? You don't know me. You just judged me right there. You just said I'm not good. How? Tell me why I'm not good. Why am I not good? No one's perfect. How can anyone be perfect? Hallelujah, hallelujah. The preaching will continue. Everyone's going to hell. The preaching will not. You choose to go to hell, sir. No is perfect. You have to swallow your pride before the Lord and humble yourself with a broken heart and actually have sorrow for your sin. If you don't have sorrow for your sin, then yes, I hate to tell you the truth, sir, but you're going to go to hell. Unless you actually repent and turn your life over to Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. You will go to hell. That's not my words. That's the words of the Lord. Hey, well, I don't want you to go to hell. That's why I'm out here preaching the gospel to you. We don't want nobody to go to hell. We love you enough to preach the truth. See, unfortunately, most churches don't preach the truth. They don't want to lose their congregation. They don't want to lose their money. They don't want to lose their government funding through their 501c3 tax exempt status. But see, true preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ cuts the heart. It cuts a person's heart. It really does. Lord, rebuke that hand sign. Lord, rebuke that hand sign in Jesus' name. See, true preaching of the gospel, it hurts people. It cuts their hearts. It convicts their hearts. And that's why people like this man are stopping right now. He says he don't believe in God. He don't like God. Well, that's fine. You don't have to believe in God for him to exist. But guess what? Atheism is only a temporary condition. Atheism is a temporary condition. Because every knee and every, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whether they believe or not, every tongue will confess and every knee shall bow. But see, guess what? Again, it's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God doesn't want anybody to perish, but he loves you enough to offer you your own choice in the matter. And every little religion does not say the same thing. Works do not save people. See, that's a common misconception amongst all religions. They believe that they're going to get to heaven or they're going to go to nirvana or paradise or whatever their definition is for that eternal uh, eternal life. They, they say that it's based upon their good works. Good works do not save people. Your works do not save you. The only work that saves somebody is the shed work of Jesus Christ on the cross. You can roll your eyes all you want, young man, but guess what? Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins too. He died for your mockery. He loves you enough. He loves you enough that he would send preachers out here to preach the truth because it's not being it's not being done. The truth is not being preached. So guess what? We're going to come out here and we're going to preach and we're going to be at the gay pride event and we're going to be at any other event the Lord leads us to. Hey, shake all your Shake your head all you want, young lady. It's okay. Shake your head all you want. But guess what? Jesus Christ still loves you enough that he'll send a few watchmen on the wall to come out here and warn you of the danger that's coming. The danger that's coming. The word of God says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. In the days of Noah, in the days of Noah, there was much turmoil in the world, much violence, much sexual perversion in the world. I'm sorry? 
You talking about Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. I'm talking about Noah. I, 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 Lord of the Buke, Lord of the Buke, Donald Trump, Lord of the Buke, Hillary Clinton, Lord of the Buke, all politicians. All politicians are sold out. They're all of their father, the devil, and of his works they shall do. No, I do not, I do not promote Donald Trump. Just because I'm a Christian does not mean I, I support Republicans. That's a common misconception of Christianity. True Christians know better. True Christians know that all politicians are crooked. They're nothing but politics. They're tricking people. They're politicking and politicking people, thinking that, oh, things are going to change. Nothing's going to change. It's only going to change for the worse until Jesus Christ returns. Donald Trump's not going to make America great again. Hillary Clinton's not going to make America great again. The, you know? I judge a tree by its fruit. Barack Obama is not saved and he's not going to heaven. Barack Obama is going to hell. Because he has not repented and he refuses to repent. He is Satan incarnate. That is Barack Obama. But I digress. Back to the gospel, however. It's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now what's repentance? Repentance is when you have a broken, sorrowful heart before the Lord for your sins. And you actually go before the Lord and you say, Lord, Father God, forgive me. I'm a wicked sinner. I cannot change myself. Only you can change me. Only the shed blood of your son, Jesus Christ, can change me. That's repentance. That's a sorrowful heart. But see, we have to turn from those wicked ways and turn to God. We have to turn to God. That's what it's all about. That's what... That's what repentance is about. That's what the gospel is about. Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins of mankind, so we would no longer have to live in those sins. No matter what sin it is, idol worship, pride, homosexuality, adultery, murder, thievery, put me off all you want. It's okay. I see what's in your heart, young man. Just remember, you're a man. You're not a young lady. Remember that. Remember that. But see, he died for your sins too. He died for my sins. What, what sins did I have in my heart? I was a fornicator. I, I was addicted to pornography. I was addicted to, I was addicted to smoking cigarettes. I was addicted to drugs. I was addicted to drug dealing. I was addicted to, uh, what else? Fornication and lust. I was addicted to all these different sins. And only Jesus Christ could deliver me from that. What else? Hi. Hey. Idol worship. I'm preaching. You filming here. What are you using this for? Uh, video footage. What are you using that for? Affirmation. Affirmation for what? Like what are you? Are you going to post this somewhere? We're posting gonna, it everywhere. You post it everywhere? Yep. Do you put people's faces on it? I do. I'm That's put illegal. Yours on too. It's illegal. You get people's permission then, then, to put their. Then, don't then, put then, my then, face on anything. Call the cops on me. Don't put my face on anything. Call the cops on me then. I'm just. I'm not like against you guys. I'm just you are. asking. I already heard your whole conversation. Oh, I mean like. You are against them. I am, but I, I'm not like. I, you guys do what, what you do. You? What am who I? Who is that? You guys. You, you guys. I oh, mean, Disney. who are you? I'm not trying who to say you like represent? you guys are wrong. Well, I'm just saying you guys do what you do. I was no, like, I mean, uh, that guy with that like, sake. No, look, but I'm, I'm not affiliated really, with Westboro Baptist. Lord rebuke Westboro good, Baptist. There good. are a bunch of devils from the You're pit doing of hell. One thing, right? We're not. We're not affiliated with Reuben Israel. I want to get this on record. We're not affiliated with Jesse Morrell and those wicked Where devils either. Just as a, we're affiliated with Christ. Christ only. My whole uh, thing. Who, uh, just as a. Sorry. Who are you? Uh, what are you like? What's the uh, the end game? The end where, game whole thing. Where, where do, do, do we preach the gospel? Where do we go? This guy said, where do you go with the camera? Here. No, I'm a videographer. Don't, don't film me. Get that off. You really should. I'm a videographer. Yeah. You really if you film really. in public, you but have where to do, have people's permission to film. Are you getting any of these people's permission to film them? No, I don't need them. So you post this without their permission to film them? It's another thing. You have God's permission? Yes. I was called out here. Yeah, but in a court of law, that doesn't hold up. I've already heard that. Wait a second. Ask 
ask him that again. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, I'm not. We, you guys do what you do. I'm not like trying assaulted. to oppose you or anything. We get assaulted. We're not yelling. We get assaulted a lot. And we use this permission okay. you okay. have. That makes sense to uh, post God's videos. Oh, we do have God's permission. You do God have God's permission to minister to and I just like to administer as a yes, person to and like uh, you. You to people like you who will go to like hell. You. Just as a person, going to hell, as that a person that does videos and all that kind of a thing, wobbles. I'm just really, yeah. you really just like, aren't afraid of people like suing you for putting your money in the internet. You just don't care. I'm doing God's will. Has it ever, has anyone ever tried to sue you for putting them on the internet? It's never like a thing that you've had to worry about. Okay. I'm just curious. I'm not, you do what you do. I'm not like a, I'm not going to preach. I know, we come out here to work for like them. For lost people, for people who are, for people who are not of Christ, like this man right here. Eyes. Yeah, like he's not of Christ. Is it, is it it's more eyes. of like anyway. The word, the word of God says. The word of God says. The word of God says. Should we continue off in sin that grace Bridget, may abound? Yes. God forbid. Yes. God forbid. Yes. Just because we're living under the dispensation of grace, so to speak, does not give us a license to continue Now I'm specifically saying this to Christians. Those who are out here calling themselves Christians, the word of God says that we should call. All men to this is the image That's of an abortion. That's what the word God says. Oh, that is the image I don't care about abortion. man's That's opinions. Gross. I don't care yes. about this church is a fine man. Yeah. And they're trying Sometimes to use the world not to reel people in. That's, That's not, not how that works. That's Explain not how it works. What is one good reason? 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 They put in rock concerts and coffee shops. I'm not assaulting you. I'm assaulting that organization. That organization is using, is trying to use the world. They're trying to use the world. They're using the world. To bring people to Christ. I'm sorry. That's no different. That's no different than celebrating Christmas. That's no different than celebrating Christmas. You can't use something. You can't use something Satan created to try to bring that people to Christ with that. And you're okay with that? You know what? You're the Catholic Church. I'm going to get that. Everybody's in life. Christianity. Under what circumstances does a child want to die? All of that aside, my biggest thing is you're filming people without their permission. It's fun. That's not fun. That's illegal. You know that you're breaking the law. Christ is not even born. You're breaking the law. You can't film people without their permission. It's not. No. It's the law of where we're living right now. I don't care what you believe in in the afterlife and everything. Right now on this street, you can't film people without their permission. That's I can't. The word of God. The word of God. You can't. Yes, I it's illegal. Go look it up. Have you ever? We are not. Do you know anything about the law? Do you know anything about the law? I know the law.